in Lesson 88, we will be completing Part C of our formal report project. This is a continuation of Report 8761 that was introduced in Lesson 87. Please be sure that you review Lesson 88 in the Word Manual so that you can insert clip art in Report 8862. This is 88D, the word processing lesson for clip art insertion. Please note on the left that your Word Manual may have a printing error on page 147. The images that you select for this report may be different from those in the text and different from those selected by your classmates. Please set the size of the clip art to the width suggested in the text and position it at the right margin using the correct text wrapping. I have indicated that on the checklist as square. And finally, remember to apply the styles after you've typed all the text for Report 8862. Okay, let's begin. You begin by clicking Start Work, and this is going to open the last saved document, which is 8761S. Even though we are now going to add to it what is in Lesson 88. So scroll to the bottom. We are on page 5 at the current time and you will be inserting your insertion point immediately after the last period. Press Enter twice and insert all of the content. You can type the paragraphs that is on your textbook page 358 and 359. These are all just paragraphs without side headings and so I'm going to suggest that you even type the long quote or the blocked quote as a regular paragraph and then apply the formatting afterwards. This is because it does need a blank line before and after so this is one of the most convenient and efficient ways to do it. Alright, here all of the content has been typed. I do want to point out a couple of things. In the last paragraph we have another dash. Remember that that is typed by two strokes of the hyphen key with no space before or after. Then after you type the following word and space, Word converts that to a long dash or an M dash as in right here in the last paragraph. Okay, let's do the long quotation, which is after the second paragraph in the language section. Here we go. It ends up falling on page 6. Begins with a business person must. Select this long quote, move to the paragraph dialog box, and under indention, increase left to 0.5, which is a half inch, and right. 0.5 half inch. This indents the paragraph on both sides and leaves your paragraphs before and after in the proper indention. I find a mistake that many students make is if they apply this indention at the wrong time, the following paragraphs end up retaining that indention. They don't get out of it. So a good way is to just type it as a regular paragraph and then apply the indentions and the following text should be back at the left margin on both the left and the right. That long quote also has a footnote. It's footnote number four. So let's insert that at this time. Remember you move to the References tab, insert footnote, and type it as indicated. Be sure to italicize the book title, Comparing Cultural Differences. Now I'll pull up the checklist, which I had forgotten to do before. Here we see that it's time to insert the clip art. The first task is to insert clip art related to communication and similar to the example in your textbook on page 358. We're going to set the size of one inch square and place it at the right margin inside the right margin, however, and vertically even with the first line of the language paragraph. We're going to use a square wrap. 
Let's move up here in this area. It's going to be over here on the right. So we move to Insert, Insert Clip Art. Now these are steps that you should have reviewed in the Word Manual lesson for Lesson 88. We're going to do a search for communication and see if we can come up with something similar to what we see in the textbook there. It does not have to be exact. Oh, okay, it's the first option in my search, so I'm going to go ahead and choose this graphic. Notice how large it is. I'm going to set it for one inch square on the Picture Tools ribbon up here in the right for size. Okay, the next step is to set the text wrap style right click and then on the pop-up menu come down to wrap text and choose square. That allows you to move it freely on the page where you want it to be. It ends up being positioned very close to where it needed to be as long as it is inside the right margin, the margin border anyway, we can drop it right here even with the top line of the paragraph. Okay, that's our first graphic. The next one is going to be to insert clip art in the male and female roles paragraph that is here and it says it's to be related to shaking hands. So let's move to our insert tab, choose clip art and this time we're going to type shaking hands. You ideally want to choose a similar style of clip art each time you use something in a report. I think this one is close enough. I'm going to choose this graphic right here. Go back and set the style to one inch. See this is very close and it's in proportion. So the next thing we do is right click, choose the wrap text style of square. Then we can drag it over to the right side. It's in line with the right margin and even with the first line in the male and female roles paragraph. Okay, we have correctly indented our quoted paragraph. We have used default formatting for the footnote at the bottom of the page. It's time to apply our styles. We do not have any side headings, so we're going to move on to the paragraph headings. In this section, we need to apply heading style 3. The first one is conflict resolution. So select that phrase through the period and we're going to find heading 3. We need to catch intimacy and relationships, language, male and female roles, space and time. Okay, this section of the report is ready to submit for grading in GDP. So let's be sure that we're saving it I click F12 to save as and find my location and note that we are saving this as report 8761-S. That's the name that GDP gives us. I'm going to leave it that way. Click save. Here it is on my list 8761-S. Remember it can take up to several minutes to score our report has gotten quite long by now. Here we go. Now the one error that it is showing, remember, is the page break that I inserted before the table to force the table onto the next page so it wouldn't be broken over two pages. This is an acceptable error. GDP was not expecting it, but it is definitely acceptable. We are also told to insert that page break if needed. So if this is your only error, you may safely ignore that and you'll be ready to move on to lesson 89.